My product is the Enhanced Emergency Lighting Barrier or EEL Barrier. It was designed for use by the emergency services but can be adapted to be used for the domestic use or for the construction industry. Throughout the research phase, um, I did a lot of observational research with the Dublin Fire Brigade, with both senior management and the crew members, as well as focus groups. This kind of gave me insight into their profession, what the crew members want themselves, which gave me the exact the objectives I needed to achieve when producing the product. From there, I went off and I started conceptualising, started drawing out loads of different ideas, and from there I kind of came up with a sketch model, which I just made out of balsa wood, which I then brought down to the crew and said, right, this is what I was thinking of. Have you got any suggestions? What would you want to see on it? What do you want to take away from it? Have you got any improvements you want made? Um, and they gave me their feedback, which was fantastic. It was great to have their feedback because they thought of things that I just wasn't able to think of. And then from there, I took it back, came up with the engineering design, came up with the materials, how I was going to manufacture it, how I was going to assemble it, and then made a prototype. The prototype is the one that you see at the moment. That prototype, I then took back to the Fire Brigade with that and kind of gave them a demonstration of what it was like and then took them out, gave, uh, let them run a few drills with it and see what they taught themselves. Took it out for both day and night scenarios and they thought it was fantastic. Anything that brings greater safety to my firefighting crews and staff on the ground, and particularly road traffic accidents, if it enhances their safety, we would be all for it. When we're working on motorways, the traffic tends to be moving very quickly and we need to be able to light up the area very, very quickly. One other traffic users on the motorway and I feel that this particular piece of equipment does just that. It enhances the safety of firefighting crews who have to deal with road traffic accidents on motorways. It enhances their safety and we're quite happy to endorse that. I got the features for the next generation added to it, which would include things like flashing lights and the front post will feature incident or accident ahead. So even during the daytime or nighttime that the oncoming traffic would be able to read instantly and see that there is something up ahead that they can't take that lane of traffic. Naturally, the original features of the product will actually be taken into the second generation model. These include things like it can be lit up while the crew member are actually walking down the hard shoulder towards oncoming traffic, so it's a lot more visible than just a high-vis vest, as well as the fact that it was designed specifically to fit into the drawers of the truck, that it's nice and thin, you can fit three or four units onto the one drawer, which is a big, big plus for the crew because they can then have more space for more essential equipment. While designing the product and coming up with the different concepts, one of the things I wanted to try and do was integrate the function with the form. So that's why you can see that the LEDs are fitted within the expansion system so that it actually creates the X's and the arrows. As well as that, one big thing the fire brigade had asked for was that there was as little switches as possible. So there's only two switches on the thing to keep it operating. And these are to turn it on or turn it off. Very, very simple. It was designed in conjunction with Dublin Fire Brigade, designed to suit their needs for lighting up the scene of a road traffic accident or RTA. My product is designed to immediately notify traffic that they need to redirect out of the lane of traffic into the next lane or to completely halt if the lane of traffic is closed. So hopefully this product will be the new standard for the emergency services when attending the scene of a road traffic accident. They'll be on the back of every truck and hopefully be in the boot of every person's car.